uh, part two because my camera kind of cut out there. So don't make your ribs a complicated mess. It, I mean, it, it may be structurally better to have these ribs be five millimeters, 10 millimeters, but obviously these are places that are gonna take a lot of material and not only will they warp because there's too much plastic that's going from hot to cold all at once, you're gonna have all sorts of shrinkage. But also, also put in mind that these are places that are gonna pull your plastic as it's trying to be injected. You don't want that. You don't want that. So what you want to do is the thinner the ribs are, the less it's going to take away from the injection when it's being injected. And finally, these ribs, all your screws should have draft. I'm not talking five degrees of draft. I'm not talking two degrees of draft. I'm talking maybe half a degree or, um, or, or, or maybe a quarter of a degree. If it's really complicated, like one degree. So if you have a really complicated design, um, you do that. Well, and then you go like, well, wait a minute, Chris. Um, how do you know if a, a design is too complicated for injection molding or not? Well, that's why you have production engineers. That's why my head engineer at Jet, he knows this stuff because he's dealt with injection molding before. He's worked on military contracts. He's worked with suppliers, things like that. He's much more the production engineer, the nuts and bolts engineer. And this is why you have to have somebody like this in a shop because a lot of designers have never really seen a production shop before and they have very screwy ideas of what to do. Oh, look at this other side. I can see from this side that there is one, two, uh, wait, 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 one, hold on, hold on. One, two, and there's another one back here. Three injection ports. So this shell has three injection ports and I noticed a fourth piece right up here. See that? Yeah, so that has to pull from this side. So basically the mold has to go this way, then you get your rails and you get your front. It's a four piece mold and a back side. Each side's a four piece mold. So, um, this is Chris Cartea saying, don't you go changing. And I did this uh, video especially for my friend, Colin Fleming, who was asking me about principles of injection molding. Do I know them? Yes, I've been in fiberglass, I've been in plastic all my life. Um, but to do them in SolidWorks and do on the production end, I hand it to my production engineer because he's just really damn good at it. Um, I think he's, in my opinion, in many respects, on the production end, he's better than me because I've done a lot of fiberglass, but I haven't done a lot of injection molding in my life. So, take care.